Hello everybody and welcome back to another Space Flight Simulator stream. Today we are going to be doing a challenge that I saw, or a challenge that has been recommended to me by, um, Ofa I, don't, I don't really know how to say his name, Ofabmia2? Um... He's, he, well, he, yeah, he's the one who made the planet pack that you might have seen in some of my videos. Um, this one right here. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So, yeah, if we go to just, yeah. Just launch this basic rocket so we can just check out the map view. Yeah, so this is the planet pack. It's got, um... A lot of planets, so we, we obviously have the base stuff, so Mercury, Earth, Mars, Venus. Uh, but then, as uh, the further you go out, we also have the asteroid belt with some asteroids here. We even got Ceres. Uh, and then past that, we have Jupiter. And then we have Saturn, y Uranus, <laughs> Neptune, and then even more planets. we got Pluto, all the dwarf planets here. And Sedna, and also Planet Nine, uh, which hasn't been discovered yet, but is a hypothetical planet uh, out past Neptune. So yeah, anyways, today we're going to be doing a saturn focus challenge, so we're going to be landing on all these Saturn moons. Or just eight of them. So, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Because I don't think Phoebe and I don't think we care about Pan or Rhea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I think we do care about Rhea. I'll have to look at the list again. Um,. Well, actually, it's the title of this video. Let's see. Okay, so Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, Dion, Rhea, Titan, Hyperion, Ieptus. So, yeah, that's, um, thing. Uh, and this is just a rocket that I just cheated over here, um, to get the thumbnail shot. But anyways... Enough with that. Let's go ahead and design a rocket that can actually do this mission. Because, yeah, I don't currently have a rocket made that can do this mission. So we'll just go ahead and recover this one. I forget how to do that. <laughs> um, I guess just, yeah, sure, revert to build. Okay. So we have... Uh, a lot of stuff here. Now, for the challenge, I did get an email from Ophabmia2. He said that um, the cheats we're allowed to use is... Well, none of these. Um, no heat damage. Infinite build area park clipping. We can use these cheats. Um, but yeah, nothing else. So, yeah, let's just design a rocket, shall we? So let's design... One thing I'm worried about is Titan, so I'm going to create something similar to my Venus Return rocket. Let's, I'm going to add a docking port to the top here. Do like a kind of second stage thing, upper stage... And then we'll have... Yeah, because I'm just worried about Titan being a very tricky place to land on and take off from. Because it's got an atmosphere. Well, landing on it should be easy. <laughs> but taking off from it, because it's got an atmosphere, I'm expecting something similar to, like, a Venus return. If you guys ever done a Venus return? I've, d I've done a couple. Um, I did one before they added re-entry, which was a lot easier than... The one I did after they added re-entry, but yeah. Nah, Venus return. So yeah, that seems good. Um, I think we have way too much thrust here, though. 
Um, yeah, so one. Yeah, just two engines is enough. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of thrust. Hmm. I'm worried about, um, yeah, I'm worried about too much thrust. I guess it's fine. It's a 215 thrust weight ratio, though. <laughs> That's kind of insane, but it should be fine. Well, let's add some, ooh, ooh, I don't, I don't mean to part clip everything. I'm going to try to avoid part clipping because I, I, I don't really think it's needed. Unless you're going for aesthetics. But yeah, other than that, part clipping is not really not really something I, I tend to use too often. Unless I'm building something that's meant to be aesthetic. And speaking of aesthetics, let's um, make this a nice rocket. Nice silver design. I think will look kind of cool. For this thing. Come on, let me click you. There we go. And then let's get the parachutes on there. There we go. Parachutes. Okay, so this will be our Titan lander. So that'll be Titan. That'll be for Titan. Um, uh, let's uh, heat shield. Uh, there we go, 12 wide heat shield. There we go, and we'll just do, yeah, we'll just like in, in, uh, put it in a fairing. Fairings, just like the widest fairing we got. There we go. And we're gonna wanna put some ballast at the bottom, actually. Because we're gonna wanna have some weight at the bottom. Oh yeah, landing legs, that would be good to have. Thank you. Um, thank you. Almost forgot about landing legs. Although, it's going to struggle to fit in the fairing now. You know what actually what I'm thinking? We probably don't need all these stages. Oh, whoops. Yeah, we probably don't need all these stages. I'm just going to go with, like, that. I mean, that should be enough. Obviously, we're going to need a couple more engines than just the one. Uh, we can go for... Just the two engines. That works. Uh, the spacecraft on top, like, CSM. Well, this isn't going to be the whole thing. This is just the Titan lander. Uh, we got to make landers for all the other moons as well. Um, so I'm not going to, like... I mean, this this is the lander. <laughs> this is the lander. Um, yeah. Okay, so now let's put this thing in a fairing. I didn't forget the legs. I'll add those in a second. But I'm just trying to get this fairing good. Because this is the thing it's got to re-enter in. Okay, uh, let's see. Give me one of these. And one of these. Perfect. So that'll be our re-entry fairing. Or our entry fairing, I guess. We're not re-entering the atmosphere. We're just going to enter it for the first time. I'll go and put three engines down there. Otherwise, it looks kind of weird. But there we go. That should be, that should be good. That should be good, I hope. OK, 
Okay, other, the large legs. Perfect. Just going to test these real quick. Get those deploy past the ground. Excellent. So that'll be our things. These should have 18... Yes, yeah, so these each have 18, 18 tons of fuel in them. This has 40 tons of fuel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of the fuel up here. So that's a bit, that's a bit... Just to kind of move the center of mass down. Broker doesn't connect to the fairing. Ah, uh, yes. Right, let's, we'll fix that. Thank you for telling me that. There we go, so that'll work. And then just add a bit more weight. To the bottom here. 12 wide, please. Thank you very much. Oh, that's too much. There we go, that'll work. Okay. That should, that should be good. So that'll be our rocket for Titan. Let's now work on the rest of them. So we're going to put a thing here. And then I'm going to build a little piece out of structural components. A little frame. So we're going to include, probably don't need that many areas. But we'll include a couple ion landers here for some of the smaller moons. To drain all the fuel in the second stage. Yeah, I, I drained all the fuel up there because we have fuel down here. I'm just trying to keep the mass... Um, center mass low. Uh, I learned that with my Venus um, return. You want to have a low center of mass because otherwise you'll flip. And we don't want to flip. Fli flipping is bad. Don't flip. So yeah, I think three little landers here. We'll be good. We'll have... I think I'll ju just do a similar setup to what I have for my Jupiter return. So one ion lander. Or maybe... Gee, I don't know. Two ion landers? Because I feel like a lot of the moons are going to be pretty small. Actually, I feel like we could have done the whole Jupiter system with ion landers. Uh, I don't even think I needed to um, worry about having um, landers with the Calibri engines. Because that was my other, the other type of lander I had was the Calibri engine. I don't even think we needed those. They were, they, we, we were, we were, we were fine. But I don't know. Let's see. Let's um. There we go. Oh wait, I want to use this. Copy, copy, and make sure we put these on the right way around. Pretty sure that's how they go.
not like it's not like that, is it? No, I th I'm pretty sure it's like that. <laughs> uh, for some reason, with ion engines, I always put them the wrong way around. Actually, for this one, we will do. I'll do a Calibri just in case, because I'm not entirely certain. And this I will use a little bit of part clipping for. Not too much though. Just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. So there we go. There's our Titan lander. Three small landers, which I will put in a fairing to protect them because they are precious and they need to be protected. Cool designs. Thank you. Yeah, I think this thing's turning out all right. We'll check out the... um. Yeah, one second. Let's just check out the um, this view. Oh yeah, that that is looking kind of cool, isn't it? Um, yeah, that is looking kind of neat. Okay. Um, let's go and flip this, flip this so that that's like that, and then we'll add another twelve wide tank to the bottom here, and then we'll chuck on our upper stage engines. Perfect. Then we'll go for another 12 wide. Let's see what we got. Um, Okay, so here we got our three efficient upper stage engines, 100 tons of thrust, and they got the best ISP in the games, because these Frontier engines are just good. These Frontier engines are just great. So, after those, I think that'll be our upper stage. I'm wondering if we should have two upper stages? Like, um, yeah, I think I'll do like a j2 stage so a bit more thrust um less efficient actually no we need we need the big big engine there actually you know what you know what i'll do yeah no you know this rocket's tall enough actually let's do one more tank section Just checking to make sure nothing... Okay. There we go. That looks... That looks alright. Yeah. The big... Very big payload. Very big payload. Um... But yeah. So we're using 12 wide. We have 6 wide. And we can make some boosters. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, and then I, I guess also, one thing I did forget is we do need some way for our brave, um, for our brave astronauts to get back home. That's one thing I guess I forgot to include. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we have no way for them to get back home. Except for like the, t this thing. Let me just extend, I'll just extend this out a bit. No, it doesn't look right. Um, hmm. 
parachute. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Because we need something. Yeah, parachute for them to get back home with. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just replace that with a parachute, right? Yeah, let's just place that with a parachute. And then just replace this. Add, you know, I'll probably, yeah, I'll, I'll just do what I did with the, um, the Jupiter mission. So, we'll have another stage on the Tylo lander. Or, Tylo? What, what, what's this Tylo? No, Titan. <laughs> they sound kind of similar, I guess. Um, yeah, we don't really need that. Because this will, this, will, this will be the final mission. This will be the final um, landing we do. Just because. So, well, it's the, it's the one that needs to go home. And then we'll add the ion engine so that it can get home. There we go. Nice. That looks good. I like that. So there we have the rancher module. I guess also a heat shield would be good. Although I guess we don't really need it because no heat damage, but we'll go ahead and add a heat shield just just for the just for the lulls, I guess. Astronaut update. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that that'd be pretty cool when they finally add the astronauts. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this will be, yeah, so this will be, so we got Titan Lander, which will go down to the surface of Titan, then go back up, and then also get our astronauts home, and then we also have these three landers down here for the other moons, and just like with the Jupiter mission, I'll make sure these are all reunited and docked together um, before we do the, um, yeah, before we do the uh, final mission. Because, yeah. That way, that way it's, it's reasonable that, um, you know, the astronauts, if there were, they would... You, you know, if this is Kerbal Space Program, these are the Mark 1 command pods. So these are the command pod, you know, the Mark 1, the one that it can only hold one. So we have Jebediah, Bill, and Bob in here. And then this this could be a three seater one, although it's not that much bigger. But just pretend there's more seats in there somehow. That's really that's really all I can do because there's no way like, I mean I could make a custom three seater like by making it bigger, but it's fine for right now. This works. It looks nice. Uh, maybe we should add some color though. Let's see what color should we make this thing. Uh, should I make it silver? Should I make the center, like, silver, like the, um, like the, like the Titan Lander? What should we do here? We could leave that a different color. What color do we paint the rocket? Go for a full silver design. With gray, um... Orange for the core stage? Alright, okay, we'll go for an SLS paint job. Cool, that sounds... I, 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 I kind of like that idea. There we go. And then up here... For the fairing... Let's go for a... Actually, the white fairing's fine. I like the little metallic strip there. And yeah, I kind of like the color scheme of that. So, save. I'll put this in the description of the... Actually, here. Saturn 8, save. Share. Upload. There we go. And... There you go, there's the link in the chat.
Okay, let's do this. Let's launch. So, here we go. I didn't do any staging. I guess I probably should do that. So, let's see. All engines go on liftoff. That will separate this. That will do that. And then I'll, I'll manually do everything else. Okay. Three, two, one. Ignition. We are... We are go. Lift off. We have a lift off. Gonna go ahead and start pitch program. Booster separation any second now. Okay, 20% on the boosters. Okay, and bye bye, boosters. Okay, still keeping a good pace. go for staging any second now we are gonna have main engine cut off there we go okay then we'll go ahead and separate that off and I guess we can go and separate this as well there we go there we go. Good. Okay, engage in some time accelerate. We'll go ahead and get our rest of the way into a nice stable low Earth orbit. Almost said Kerbin. You can tell you play too much KSP when you start calling the Earth Kerbin and uh, curb and earth. Okay. And, oh! Oh, shoot. Okay, so we need another stage. Mm-hmm. Okay. You forgot to wait for the transfer for... I usually wait for transfers in orbit, um, because you can time warp to it, but yeah, we need either a bigger second stage. Okay. Okay. Oh, revert to build. Okay. Okay. So we need what you would call more boosters. And bagunk. And bagunk. Okay, so that's more fuel. Okay, there we go. That's better. But yeah, we might need more. Yeah, put more fuel in that stage. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we need a bigger upper stage. Because this has to get us... This, this this upper stage has to do a lot for us, basically. So we need a lot more fuel in there. 
I'm just gonna double. I'm just gonna double its fuel supply because we pretty much need twice as much fuel. And thrust rate ratio is still good. Okay, we don't have to quite worry about um. We don't have to worry about um. Thrust weight yet. We just need to clipping. We need the clipping. No, I don't think we do. Uh, let me just let's see. Um, <laughs> Basics. Okay. No, I think we'll be fine here. Actually. What if we make this a two-stage upper stage? That could be good. Like if I have an engine here, and then two more engines like here and here. OK. So we have an engine here, two more engines there and there. And then we go like with these and get like some sort of staging. Have like a sort of partial staging of these engines. There, there's more fuel. There's more fuel and then engines. And now we'll just put a fairing around that because nobody wants to see that. But that should give us some a bit more delta V. Hopefully, this setup. We'll we'll we'll, we'll try it. We'll, we'll we'll see. Um, and then I think I'll yeah I'll just go ahead and do my staging here. That's when that's the now it's tar that's also awesome, maybe Saturn Five. Well yeah. Saturn fives for the moon. This is Saturn. This is a Saturn bound rocket. Okay, cool. And then I think, yeah, then after that, we'll detach these two. Oh, wait, before that, actually, we detach that one. So we have that engine goes. Then these two engines go. Well, that may not work if they're connected here. Hmm, we'll see. This staging system might work. Eh, it'll probably work. Um, let's, let's let's try it out. Um, save. And share. Share, upload. And there you go. Okay. Yeah, if I ever make any modifications, I'll just <laughs> share the file with you guys. Off we go to a thundering start. The reason it says we're negative height and now our positive height. That is um very interesting. Okay. Let's go over. Let's start pitching. I'll engage a bit a bit of warp so that we can speed this process along.
Oh yeah, we're going way higher and faster now. Okay, see you boosters. Yeah, we're we're punching well through the the sky. Okay. We are go for the next stage. Don't know how long this will last, but then after this we can detach the middle engine. Oh shoot. I didn't realize we weren't quite out of the atmosphere yet. Oh shoot. No, get me out of there. Get me out of here. Get me out of this atmosphere. Come on guys, get me out of here. I don't want to be in this atmosphere anymore. Oh, shoot. Okay. That doesn't quite work. I mean, it might have, but I didn't execute it properly. You know, okay, you know what? Forget this. Forget this novel, like, upper stage design. Don't need it. Um, let's go back to this. Then, plus it looks better than whatever I'm trying to do over here. There we go. That should still work. Um. Yeah. I think it needs, I think it also needs more thrust. Hmm. Whatever. Put more boosters. Well, let's, let's see if it works, let's see if it works like this, and then we'll add more boosters. Staging. Yeah, there we go. Having the higher thruster ratio is definitely a good thing. Okay. Yeah, they got twice as much um, fuel in this stage now. We're burning all our fuel to try and get into orbit here. Hmm. Yeah. So we just managed to get into a low Earth orbit. We have 15% of that left.
Yeah, after this one does need another upper stage. Okay. So, yeah, more b bigger, bigger rocket, bigger boosters. Just bigger everything. So, forget these. We need, we need, we need these tanks as boosters. This is now going to look like a Delta, Delta IV heavy. Yeah, like a big, massive Delta IV heavy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 15% can't go to Jupiter. Although, I do plan to do a, the Venus... Um, what you would call it? The, the gravity assist chain that I normally do uh, with Venus. Because it's just, it's just better to do it like that. But, um, yeah. Okay, we got like a Delta IV now. Delta IV heavy. And then what if we, hold on, what if we, is this, is this too many boosters? Nah, impossible. This is a pyramid rocket now. Pyramid rocket. Perfect. That's got a 1.63 thrust weight ratio. And then, you know, just to finish it off, might as well just like, there you go. There you are. I mean, there's your rocket. There it is. <laughs> and that's that's got plenty of thrust, so we can then yoink this bit. Oh, I can't even see. There's so much rocket, I can't even see the, the mouse cursor. Oh, shoot. I need to turn that off so that we don't accidentally duplicate this. There we go. Here we go. And then that's going to be our trans Jupiter stage. Right there. Plunk. Okay. It's the Vega method. Huh. Yeah. I actually don't know what that um that rocket looks like. Let me let me have a let me have a look at it real quick. Oh yeah. Yeah, it kind of does. Except mine's way wider. It is a chunk rocket. Anyway, uh, okay. Engines. This is also kind of like an N1, if the end one staged sideways, so nothing like an M1, but still. Kind of has that, um, <laughs> yeah, that, 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 this is a very Kerbal, um, SFS rocket. <laughs> okay, so, 
No, we're not going to do that first. So, actually, yeah, I'm just going to completely delete all these stages. Okay, so stage one is that. Oh, shoot. We're not, and then these. And then these. And then those. And then those. And then hopefully that'll be us on our way to Saturn. Okay. Save. Oh, Excel. There we go. Uh, share. Upload. And okay. Go! Go, big rocket! That is absolutely massive. And very loud. That is a very loud rocket. But it somehow functions. This is somehow working. We have a lot of thrust ratio, actually. Hold on. Throttle back. <laughs> Look at our thrust weight ratio. Ooh, 1.7. Goodbye, first boosters. Oh, yeah, this might be overkill, actually. Eh, maybe. It probably is. Let's be honest. It probably is. This is probably overkill, but I love it. Press enter to stage. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't. I don't play the um. This too much. There we go. Yeah, I don't play the, uh, the PC version that often. Yeah, I think we'll just, I think we'll get into orbit with just our boosters, which is good. Because I like having the two upper stages for, for Saturn, um, stuff. So, that's all good. go and get rid of the fairings because we don't need those anymore oh yeah look at our, look at our thrust ratio it's barely anything anymore oh that was actually a pretty reasonable rocket for what we needed to get into orbit there we go just did the final bit of circularization with the um, the upper stage. Similar to the Saturn V in that way, uh, where the S4B did the final bit of burning. Now, we could go straight to Jupiter, or we could do Venus, Earth, Earth, Jupiter. And thinking as a Venus window is next, I'm going to do that. Because, you know... Um, we, have a lot of, we have a lot of Delta V... Um, but, um, yeah, so, but I, you know, you yeah, know, we have a lot, but, um, it is, I don't know, I feel like we're gonna need a lot to capture into orbit around Saturn, unless there's, like, a, a Tylo equivalent, is there a Tylo equivalent around Saturn? Um, yeah, I don't know. Is there a Tylo equivalent around Saturn? Does anybody know about that? 
Anybody know about a t oh that um transfer window is not working. Okay. The four part short. <laughs> a four part short, that hmm, that sounds familiar. I wonder who else did a four part short. <gasps> Come on. Rotate you big dumb rocket. This thing doesn't rotate at all. Yeah, I like to capture Tylo equivalent as like to capture like gravity assist capture. I guess Titan. Titan's gotta be gotta be Um Probably the best bet. Um But yeah, we'll see. I might have to completely capture it Saturn using engines, which if that's the case, I would like to have the extra delta V. Anyway, let's do this burn. Please work transfer window. Okay, never mind. The transfer window thing does not want to work. So we're just going to burn until the game says, hey, look, there's Venus. Off we go. We are going. No, Titan is Lathe. Yeah, well, Lathe is also, um, pretty good. Like, if Tylo's not in the right spot, then you can pretty much do what you need to with Lathe. Um, and if anything, Lathe is actually better if you're doing a Tylo mission, because you can fly by Lathe and then fling yourself right into Tylo. So, you know, Lathe is better if you're doing a Tylo mission. But anyways... I don't... I don't get it. Why isn't the transfer window working? Oh, Fabmia, your, your planet pack's broken. The transfer window's broken. Your transfer window's broken. Um... Okay. Well, never mind. I, 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 I didn't need your um, your your thing. Okay. Um. Settings. Where is it? Conic sections. There we go. Increase that to four. There we go. So now we can see our gravity assist. So if I. So we want to have our escape go down. Escape down. No, we want retrograde. Spin this rocket around. Spin this big old rocket round. I, I put mine at five because good CPU. Um I would I could I could put mine higher, but then it just gets kind of cluttered. Like, you get all these orbital lines everywhere, and it just gets kind of cluttered. So that's why I keep it low. But yeah, I could, pro I could probably handle more. Like, it's not a, a limitation. It's just... Yeah. Oh, wait, which way is Venus going? Oh, never mind. Venus is orbiting the other way. I actually want my, my orbital line to go up. There we go. Okay, you can watch that apoapsis go. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, I think that's about the best kind of gravity assist we're going to get, which is kind of lame. It's kind of a lame gravity assist. But whatever, we'll take it. I'll just do a bit of engine burning at the... um gravity assist so that we can re-encounter Earth um, and get our second flyby.
Hang on, aren't you supposed to do a Jupiter assist? Yes, we are going to do a Jupiter assist. This is just the the preamble. Um, the full the full chain is going to be Venus, um, Earth, Earth, Jupiter, and then we get to Saturn. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna warp and then we'll get an encounter with Earth. Apparently. Is that close? Uh, I guess a little bit. Hmm. Oh, oh, um, hmm. Hmm. Just gonna wait for a good one. Wait for a good window. Sometimes you get lucky with this, sometimes you don't. It just depends. Looks like I got unlucky this time. Okay, Earth is catching up next. Orbit. And Earth will be... Ooh, it's getting real close. Okay. Oh! That is so close. There you go. I'll take that. Plus 206. I'll take that. That's fine. That's not too much. Yeah, let's see. So we want an escape. Pretty much directly up. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good escape. Okay, this is actually going to be a good gravity assist. Earth is in a good position here. This is going to be a good one. Okay. Finally. So we can get this right nice and ooh, close. You know, that's fine. There you go. That's gonna get us all the way almost to Jupiter. But not quite. I'm just gonna warp around to here and we'll do a radial outburn um before we hit that atmosphere. Well, there we go. That's a good. That's a good gravity assist. Unlike Venus, which didn't really want to give us any gravity. Earth. Thank you. There we go. And we will warp here, and we'll see. Okay, there we go. Look at that. We get another Earth encounter. So here, our Earth Earth assist was actually quite all right. There we go. 
Oh, that was close. That's so close. Okay, we'll have to warp there and then do a prograde burn. Because this is not quite enough. Okay. Whoosh. can get ourselves to Jupiter. Oh shoot. Wait. We ran Ran out of fuel again. Game lagged. <laughs> uh, stutter. You know what? We'll take that and we'll get one more Earth Assist instead of burning again. We'll just get one more Assist from Earth. And... But I'm not taking that. Oh. Hi, Jupiter. Hi, Neo. Neo. Uh, I don't know about that one. Hundred, hundred and nine. I guess that's 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 cheap enough. Perfect. So there we go. Okay, so let's see. What's this assist looking like? Okay, perfect. This is looking good. Perfect. Okay, so that's our Jupiter assist. like we're just gonna get an encounter with it usually oh usually the game crashes sometimes and it seems like that's what just happened I 
Man, it's really... It's really... It's really frozen. Mm-mm. Yeah, it completely, it completely froze. I can't even... I'm gonna have to restart my PC. This is... Not good. Look, it won't even let me open Task Manager. Hold on, hold on, guys. One, one, one moment, please.
Aren't we back? Are we back? Alrighty, I think we are back. Okay, let's try that again. Aren't we back? Are we back? Yeah, so I always get that crash in SFS. I I don't know if it's a common thing or not, but it's just when you're flying around changing spheres of influence, it'll just crash. And the fix <laughs> is to just unset your target. So once we get in that game, we're going to have to unset target uh, as Jupiter. Because basically I think what happens is we enter Jupiter's, or we get an encounter with Jupiter. Um, and that's a problem. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Resume game. And I'm going to completely yeah, immediately drop out of this. Uh, oh wait, we're not navigating to what? What are we navigating to? Oh, this is this is for our Earth assist. Oh, oh no, we still have Earth navigation selected. Yeah, no, we don't want any navigation. You should have just used a direct transfer to Jupiter. Yeah, I guess that would have prevented the crashes, wouldn't it? Now, see, there we go. There's our encounter. And there's our escape trajectory. My goodness. <laughs> uh, gosh. I feel like that's a little bit more powerful than just going to Saturn. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is almost a direct encounter with Jupiter, which is pretty crazy. You don't usually get those, um, do you? No, not really. Okay, and then we'll do this to Saturn. Oh, wait. I can't even get a assist to Saturn. What's going on here? It's not even letting me get an assist straight to Saturn. Is this a... Is this a problem? Whoops. Is this a... Whoops. What's going on? What's going on here? Okay, I need to burn the other way then. Burn the other way. There we go. Okay. Cool. And... Yes. Okay, there we go. Saturn. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so there's our Jupiter assist to get us to Saturn. Doop. Doop. And Jupiter. So that's to Saturn. Just wait for Saturn to be in the right spot. Just waiting for it. Well, hello, other probe that I launched at some point. Oh, and hi, Jupiter, for messing up my orbit. Please don't. Time warping. Oh, whoops. I already got I already got a gravity assist from you, Jupiter. I don't need another one, thank you. Okay. 
Come on, give me Saturn. Come here, Saturn. Saturn, stop running away, Saturn. Saturn, come on, there we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. There we go, perfect. So I might just set up an encounter with Titan so that we can get a nice gravity assist capture. Perfect. Let me go and see Titan. Any second you wanna, anytime you wanna encounter Titan would be good. Any any day now, really. Any day now, any month now. Really, whenever is fine. Okay, you know what? Let's just get within the sphere of influence. Warp here. Make a quick save. And I think we'll be good. I think we have enough fuel to do this. As long as we can capture, we'll, we'll, we'll be good. Okay. Five. Good. Okay, let's see. Can we navigate to Titan? No. That is not, that's not working for us. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's not, yeah, I can not get a, a Titan encounter here. So we need to probably capture here for, uh, on engines. Oh, Phoebe has a retrograde orbit. That's very interesting. That's captured moon or something. Well, there we go. Here we are at Saturn. There's Saturn. Oh, never mind. Oh, there's there's Mimas and some other moons. Right. Let's see. Uh, I might be able to capture. Can we capture? Can we capture? Just about captured. Captured into a high Saturn orbit. But you know what? That works. That works. So that works for me. How much Delta V do we have? Or how much, like, fuel percent do we have left? I can't. Where's the... Okay, there, there it is. 1.7% left. Okay. Uh, we have some fuel in here. You know, these are actually all full. Oh, except for these. These are at 66%. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, I might just be able to pump that under there. There you go. It's a bit more Delta V there. We'll transfer it back. Well, I don't know. Actually, we, we, ha we have Heat Cheat on. So I don't know why I was worried about this. Yeah, we have Heat Cheat. You, uh, you allowed heat cheat. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're fine. We don't really care about re-entry too much. Anyway, let's, um... Yeah, where to go first? Where to go first? Um... No, let's do Titan first. Titan sounds the most fun. Oh, gosh. Let's bring the rest of this orbit down. 
to... Okay, we'll bring it down to, like, Ieptis height. That way we can lower it further. Um, later in the mission. So yeah, we'll bring it down to Ieptis height. And there we go. Tighten. So actually, we'll go to... Actually, no, Titan we had to do last. Yeah, because of this thing. So I have this as first. Okay. Yeah, let's, we'll, start out, we'll, start, we'll, we'll start our way out and then work our way in. I'm, I'm not doing that. There you go. Perfect. That's the kind of Delta V expenditure that I'm talking about. So we're going to attach one of our little ion, ion landers. Perfect. Okay, see you later. No. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Okay, so did we get an encounter? I feel like we must have, right? It has to be an encounter. What? How? Yeah, okay. It is, and it's a direct encounter. Cool. Actually, no, this is fine. This is, this is completely fine. This is fine. There we go, descending on this planet right here. Okay, so all the planets are messed up <laughs> um, here, apparently. Okay, cool. Cool, love it. Once we get a little closer, it'll be easier to see the the planet. I mean, yeah, Ieptis is this one right here. Not this little guy right here, but this one right here is Ieptis. This one with the kind of smear on it. That's what it looks like. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, ions are perfectly capable of landing. No worries. And we are good. Okay, we are good. Oh shoot, we're gonna hit the terrain hard. Oh, we lost our engines.
They're gone. Kind of needed those. Uh, we have the, um, this, though. Okay. There we go. We are we are approaching Ieptus now. Yeah, and look how much little fuel we've used. Yeah, ion engines are just really good. Good. Looking good. Oh, I gotta aim retrograde, actually. the ground. Okay, there's the ground. I can finally see the ground. Okay. Cool. I'm like, where is the ground? I can't see the ground. Someone please help me. Well, there we go. Touchdown. Anaeptus. Very cool. Yeah, a little glitchy once you zoom out, but... Very cool. And we're on the Saragossa Terra. Oh, neat. Okay. What's this? This is, um... Oh, this is our, um, our big rocket. Okay. Well, let's go to Hyperion next. Um, yeah, Hyperion. Um, just a minus one, a burn of minus 1.6 to get there? Okay. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. Here's Hyperion. Badoop. Okay. Moon 2. We could capture into an orbit this time, or we could just do the same exact thing that we did before, and just eat and just fly right into it. 
Now, if I recall, Hyperion's kind of a weird shape. Oh, uh, yeah, in real life. But um, this is it right here. So, yeah, the, the moon that's on the front, I think, is yeah, the one that we're looking at. Um, but, yeah, in real life, it's, a, it's an odd shape. Obviously, I guess it's kind of hard to do in SFS. I don't really know how to do it. I'm not a, a mod, a, a, a mod, a modder, I guess. Is that who you would be? Or a planet pack maker? Or, you know, I'm, I'm not any of those things, so. Really, I don't know. Oh, shoot. Okay, I need to start that. I need to start that burn a lot sooner. Probably right at the start of entering the Sphere of Influence, possibly. Although that does seem a bit absurd. But, eh. Yeah, I'll, like, warp to here. And I'll start the, uh, the slowdown burn. Go to orbit first? I mean, we could... Or we could just do this. This, this is fine as well. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I'm like Titan and stuff. I'll, I'll definitely enter orbit first. But for this, actually, I might, I, I might, I might need to do orbit for this one. Actually, yeah, I think you're right because this, this is a lot bigger, or at least we're, we're, or we're going a lot faster, as I think. Is I think what the what's happening here? Okay, can we like can we can we change this? Can we get out of here? 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 Radial out! Radial out! Okay, ooh, we saved it. We saved it. We saved it. There we go, we saved it. Amazing. Yes. Oh, oh, this is like, um... It's like gilly gravity. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, I got it. But we don't... Yeah, there's... We have no need to enter orbit of uh, this thing. This thing has, like, Phobos Deimos gravity. Yeah, there it is. Tiny little thing. Cute little thing. Cute little moon. There we go. Okay, there's the second one down. Um, once we once gravity decides, hey, we're gonna we're gonna pull you back down eventually. Well, at some point, at some point we'll pull you back down. Not sure when, but, um, yeah, we're just kind of cruising. There we go. <laughs> and... Any day now. Splunk. Good. Okay, now I guess we should pick these, pick these guys up. Uh, I guess, yeah. Actually, hold on, no. Uh, switch to you. We should go ahead and rescue our landers. So the trans. So yeah, we're gonna go and get back to Ieptus to pick up our landers, and then we'll head into the inner system.
Okay, heck, I finally got... Uh, you know, this is fine because we're not capturing into orbit, we're just flying by. So this is perfectly fine. For what I need. Because I literally just want to fly by. So that our little lander can hop on. And we can... Yeah. Just so that I can dock to the lander. And we can get everything reunited back together. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. Encounter. Again, I don't think it's going to tell us that we have an encounter until like the last second. Um, which is whatever. Cool. Cool. Cool game. Very cool. Yeah, look, there we go. There's our encounter. <laughs> uh, okay. And, oh. We're time warping. Don't do that. There we go. Okay. Switch to... Okay, let's, um... Let's set, this, let's set that as our target. Okay, so now we can see its orbit. And... Go! That's satisfying. Okay, well there we go. Here's one lander back in space. One little lander back in space. Maybe some comments. Um, oh, some people left. Should have used deck transfer to Jupiter. The alignment of Jupiter and Saturn is incorrect. Yeah, I know. I know. This is very inefficient, but, um. Yeah, it was very inefficient. What can I say for it was very inefficient? But hey, we're doing it. We've got two moons. That's. Two eighths of the mission done. So, you know. It's all right. Okay, let's just wait for this thing to... Wait for the thing to come down. Okay. I feel like next orbit, and we're going to be lagging behind. So I'm just going to go ahead and get an escape trajectory now. And then I'll let it catch up to me in a second. Yeah, so it's going to catch up to us. Perfect. Catch up to us. Perfect. And then we're just going to do a quick little burn to get our speed relative to it.
Heck, come on. Get me. I keep on overcooking it just a little bit too much. Okay. Small burn towards the target. There we go. That's more like it. Okay, is that close enough and visual? Yep, that's visual. Okay, cool. Docking. Who needs RCS? RCS is for people who don't know how to dock. Um, yeah. There you go. Just docked on an escape trajectory. Um, yeah. Don't know what to say, really. Just, yeah. Easy. <laughs> uh. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, that can that kind of that kind of maneuver is pretty tricky. Um, but yeah, if you just like do like burns towards the target, burns away from your target, uh, like you would in KSB um, equivalent, it's actually pretty easy because you don't have a third dimension to worry about. So yeah, it's pretty easy to just eyeball it if it's just 2D. Which that's what SFS is. SFS is 2D. Whoa. Okay, there we go. So we got a Hyperion trajectory. Um, I don't... It's a very fast trajectory. Um, very fast. Yeah, you know, that's, that kind of flyby is fine. I'm going to warp here. Okay, so we're... Okay. So we want to take off this way. Cool. Ooh, gosh. Ooh, we almost, like, almost smoked it into the surface there. I don't really think that's something we had to worry about. That's how low... Ah, yes, low gravity. Ah, uh, yes, I heard you had low gravity. Care to explain? Ooh, this is very flickery. This is not for people with uh, epilepsy. This is very flickery rocket program. I'm pretty sure it's the navigation. Yeah, it's for some reason it's the me telling the game to navigate to this thing is freaking it out. There we go. Yeah, I should have just took off vertically. And then we would have been going in, like, roughly the same direction. But, eh. Oh, well.
Yeah, we're gonna leave this SOI way before, um... Whatchamacallit does. Yeah, there we go. Boop, we're gone. And then, boop, he's gone. Okay. So we're doing this here. There we go. Okay, good. That should be going the same direction now. Yep. Oh, shoot. Focus. Okay, we can do a burn of plus 8.5 to get an encounter. That's good. get our encounter in about one orbit. Yum. Oh. Okay, where is it? You know what, now I don't know what I'm doing. I should just follow these numbers. They should know what they're doing. That's the, th yeah, I never, yeah, it's on, yeah, it's the best PCs on uh, Steam. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Although it's not as updated as the mobile, though. The mobile gets way more updates. We don't, we, I, I don't even have the Mercury stuff in here yet. <laughs> You don't got the Mercury stuff. So, that's a bummer. Anyways, though. Okay, where is this other spacecraft? Am I supposed to be able to see it at this point? 
Because I cannot. I'm just going to do a burn this way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to do more burns this way. Because it's starting to get down here. Okay, I still can't see it. Seriously, when is this thing going to come into visual range? No, I should just end navigation. There it is, finally found it. Sheesh. Okay, good. Bonk. There we go. And docking. That took a while. <laughs> Come on, get in, get in there, get in there, get in the docking hole. Get in the docking hole. Come on. Come on, there we go. Don't need RCS. Who needs RCS? Okay, so that's two done. We've done Hyperion and Iaptus. So that just leaves Titan, Rhea, Dion, Mimas, and Solidus Tephus. All these in the middle here, basically. I wonder if we can get a Titan Gravity Assist. Um, to send us down into the inner planets. Because that would be really nice. Or to the inner, to the inner moons, I guess. Because they're not planets, they're moons. Um, only because they orbit around Saturn. <laughs> Anyways. Um, doing docking with that is never easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nah, it's 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 not convenient by any means. But there we go. I know that my my Titan gravity assist plan works, so we can get a nice gravity assist down to Dion. 
Perfect. Whoosh. Hello, Titan. Oh, never mind. My gravity assist planet did not work. Um, abort, 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 abort this. Okay, we're fine. Actually, we'll, we'll we'll start with Rhea then. Yeah. Okay. We need another, I guess, flyby to get any lower. But yeah, I don't want to become a roasted rocket. No, thank you. Ooh, look at that! Oh, <laughs> look at Titan. Never mind. Look at Titan and it there there's I have to <laughs> Okay, cool. Okay, so away from Titan and navigate here. Okay, I'll send down the ion landers again. Let's see. Uh, let's just, let's just make sure you're topped off with that one. There we go. Okay. The inner moons. Okay, we'll actually capture into orbit around this one. Because I feel like that's going to be a good idea for... I don't know, for some reason I feel like that'll just be a good idea here. Because we're going very fast. And it'll just be good to just... I don't know. Be captured. Should be able to take on all the inner moons with this the, with with this one lander, and then obviously take on Titan with the big rocket, and then we'll be ready to to head home. Yeah, because once we do this big burn, this is the biggest capture room we got. All the other moons are gonna have relatively we won't be going that fast relative to them. It's just that for this capture, we're just booking it so quick. Um, yeah. A 
Although, yeah, these moons have such little gravity that capturing it's really... Like, capturing into an orbit's kind of tricky. <laughs> like, look, I'm going 150 and we're still not, like, captured. So this is very low gravity. Yeah, it's definitely different to the moons in KSP, <laughs> where you got Tyla, which is pretty much a Kerbin. Um, <laughs> or, you know. So, yeah. These moons, the moons in KSP certainly do pack a punch compared to real moons. Although, to be fair, the real moons are a lot bigger than the moons in KSP, but that's relative. Like, relative to everything else, these are pretty tame moons. Relatively. By KSP standards, these would be a pain to land on, I'm sure. Okay, we're pretty much good. Done. Okay, there's three done. Three moons. Okay, next stop, you. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you could actually do stuff on the moons in this game. The only thing you really can do is just not much. <laughs> Can't really do much. Oh yeah, there's an orbit. Pretty slow though. Pretty slow orbit. Only 115 meters per second. So yeah, if all the moons are pretty much this size, um, then we shouldn't have any issues landing on them. With all, with all with this ion lander, if we do find one that's a bit problematic, then we can then we can send the um, the Calibri lander. But I don't think we'll need the Calibri lander. Um, we'll just we'll just hold on to that one.
Raylander got only a few seconds on the surface. Yeah. Yeah, but there's not really anything to do, though. Like, the thing is the thing. But, I mean... And, yeah, I, I mean, I can't really see the planet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I don't know. This glitch is really weird. But, eh, we landed. Uh, I think it's, it should be in the mission log. Um... Right. There you go. So, the game counts it. The game counted it. So, yeah. Like I said, if there was something we could do on the surface, like plant a flag or something, I would. But just, <laughs> there, there's nothing you can do on the surface of the, of, um, unless, the, until they add stuff. Um, it's just kind of a touch and go, and I realize the stream's going for quite a long time, so I don't necessarily want to speed through these last couple moons, but I, I kind of also want to speed through these last couple moons, because, yeah, we're getting to a, we're getting to a point where it's, we're get, yeah, we're just getting to a point where the stream's been going on for a while. And I don't really want to split the stream up into two parts. Um, we'll just try and get them all done. There we go. Now we're heading to Dion. Or Dione. Yeah, whoosh, and down the deck, heading down into the middle. Boop. Your second pronunciation, Dioni. Hmm. Very cool. Alrighty. Capture, burn. All right, go ahead and take a look at it if it'll let us. Let's see. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Oh, oh, yep. So that's about all the view you get until it. Maybe get Iaptus and uh. What's it, what its name? Hi Hyperion. I don't know why I couldn't think of the name Hyperion. Yeah. I don't know, I think it's just something wrong with SFS. Um, I don't know. Just pretty glitchy. But I mean, you can Google all these all these moons. They're pretty cool. I think I, I think Saturn is a uh, pretty great. You know, sa you know, Saturn Saturn's like I I feel like Saturn's everybody's favorite gas giant. Um It's just so cool. With the big rings and then you also got Titan. And, like, imagine, like, living on Titan and looking up and then seeing the planet with all its big, massive rings. It would be really cool. That's why I can't wait for KSP2 and, um, and Glumo, um, being able to, um, you know see that because in, SF in SFS you don't really get that view you know you can't like be on a planet and look up whereas on KSB you can look you know up and see stuff above you which is cool oh we got a second encounter would you look at that now well, let's keep on burning Could have maybe grabbed that second encounter and continued with it, but eh. Just keep burning. Just 
just keep burning, 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 burning. Just keep burning. Well, there we go. There's an orbit. There's our orbit. Whoosh. How many moons is this? Is this four now? I think it's four. Eh, who needs landing legs? Bloop. Plop. Did we get it? Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah, no, who needs landing legs? Landing legs are overrated. So our next stop would be, um, Tethys. So we gotta wait for over here. Okay. There you go, there's a bit of Dione. Look at that yellow there. I recall Tethys is um pretty interesting, but for for what? Yeah, I just think all of Saturn's moons are quite interesting because of how they like interact with the rings. Um Like each moon will have had, like, different encounters with the rings. Like, you have Ieptis, which is, like, smeared by ring debris. And then you also have Mimas, which is, like, um, got, like, a big hole, a big crater in it because of, a, I'm guessing, a piece of either another, like, asteroid or, yeah, something maybe from Saturn's rings, you know. See what we got here? Okay. Ooh, this looks this this moon looks pretty big. I'm not I'm a little concerned. 
about the possibility of landing on this thing with ion engines. I oh, know we're fine. I just noticed how fast our velocity is. Yeah, now we're good. Let's try and land over here on Odysseus. Um, I'm guessing that's a, a special location on Tethys. There it is. Pretty cool. Odysseus is a crater on Tethys. Okay. So we should notice a big... Okay. Yeah, I can see a little bit of an indentation here. Interesting. Very cool. Okay. Cool. Okay. Next we have Encelada. <laughs> I, I know, it's Enceladus. You guys see the Solar Balls episode? Man, I, I love that channel. It's great. <laughs> the one with, um, with Saturn. That's, that's, that's a really, that's a really good one. The, the moons of Saturn. Um, yeah. I guess I should have mentioned that earlier. Seeing as we're doing this, but oh well. Just mentioning it now. <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. We're right at the, we're right at the correct launch window, which is nice. Oh shoot, <laughs> we're already already booking it out of here. Okay. Oh, I didn't get the Tethys landing achievement? Oh no. Wait, really? Oh yeah, hold on. Let's do that again. Could have sworn I got it. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Okay. There we go. Okay, we got it. Cool. And now... Here. We're right at the right window. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna literally just launch it like that. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. No. Okay, there we go. Now that's what I call a direct transfer. No. Okay. We'll land over here by the Tiger Stripes. Check those out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Basically, basically Saturn's version of Europa. <laughs> the Saturn Europa. Just, a, just an ice moon. An I little icy moon. Around Saturn. Basically just like Europa, except blue. It's a blue Europa. But still pretty cool. Oh, um, uh, 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 Ophid, Ophidmia, <laughs> Ophidmia, uh, what the, what in the Ensalada is going on here? Okay, the terrain. Okay, I see height, terrain. Okay. I'm just going to go down to where it says height, terrain equals zero. Um, okay, there we go. Okay. Cool. Can I get an achievement, please? Achievement? Achievement? Hello? Can I have an achievement, please? Here, I'll just flop. There. Did I already get it? Did I miss it? Might have missed it. Yeah. 
No, I haven't gotten it yet. Okay, well, we landed here. Yeah, I just don't think the achievement's working. Anyway, we have one more inner moon left. And then... Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay, we have one more inner moon left. Cool. Okay, what just happened? Why is everything suddenly black? Oh, why is the planet cut in half? Why is part of the planet missing? Um. 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 What's happening? You know what? I want to leave. I don't like this place. Goodbye. Is it because I called you Ensalada? I'm sorry. We're gone. Yeah, I can't see my orbits anymore. Restart the game. Okay. I got it. Um. Low click, uh, right click save. Set. Oh, you mean like. Completely exit the game. Whew. We only have like two moons left. So I'm definitely going to finish it up. Whew. But yeah, I am, I am quite tired. No quick save needed? Ah, well, you know, I'm paranoid. Okay, it's still... It's still not doing it. Well, I don't know when we'll be in orbit. What's orbital velocity? Alt F4. Okay, now, what... What's next? Alt F4 and then open the game up again. Zoom out on the map. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay. Um, uh, retrograde. Let's go to Mimas. Hey, look, it's Minmus. Just kidding, it's Mimas. It's the the Mimi version of of Minmus. I don't know. It's t I'm tired. <laughs> it's late. Oh no! Don't don't commit Mars Colony. Um. Um. You know, you can't say that anymore. The Mars Colony is doing good. You can only say that when the Mars Colony is doing bad. Otherwise, it's just... I don't know. Bridge jump or something. Please don't, by the way. Please don't do any of the activities uh, demonstrated or talked about in this video. Thank you. I think that's a, a good disclaimer. Oh, shoot. Um, what do we lose? We lost our docking port. Um, do we need that? 
Do we need that? Nah, no, uh, I'm gonna sort of load the save. Uh, there we go. Okay, so where does... Okay, so there's our transfer window. Okay, so we gotta get into an orbit and then wait for there. Gotcha. Okay. Just wish the game could do things faster. I just wish things could happen faster in general, really. <sighs> Imagine not having mods. Yeah, I guess that would be nice about right about now. Like better better time warp. Is that a mod that I could get? Better time warping. I know that's I know that's in KSP. Thing is, I tr speaking of better time warping KSP, I tried installing it at one point, but it wouldn't work. I might have to try it again because I know like it's a really useful mod just to be able to time warp when the game doesn't usually let you. Um, it's just a nice feature. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, nope, but AS... How do you say that? ASODs? Vanilla upgrade? Um... Upgrades is... And that has a better time warp. Uh, okay. Yeah, so there's not no dedic... There's not nothing dedicated. But uh, that still works. Yeah. You'll have to teach me some time. Although, the thing is, you did teach me about mods, and then it got updated, and they all broke. <laughs> so you'll have to help me reinstall them, I guess. Uh, and then the next time it updates. Because... Yeah, I can't be trusted with updates. Uh... Okay, there we go. Mimas. There we go. Get you nice. And yeah, we'll land right in your big, big crater. We'll land right in your big crater. And the last inner moon. Because we don't care about pan. Forget Pan. That's not part of the challenge. And to be frank, I'm too tired and I don't even care about Pan. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, Pan. Okay, well, we, we need to abort this landing, I think. I think we need to abort this landing. Yeah, there we go. Abort the landing. Abort to orbit. <laughs> abort to orbital capture. <laughs> this is a mod. This is a... This is... Uh, well, this is a planet pack, actually. So... 
Yeah, not a mod, but it's a planet pack. I want to I want to land I want to land right over here in the big in the big eye crater. <laughs> Looks like a big eye. You can see what. There we go. Death Star Planet. Yep. Well, moon. It's a moon. Get it right. I'm going to land right on the tip. The Death Star is 60 kilometers in diameter. Mimas is 390. Ah, so it's it's bigger then. I mean, it makes sense. This is an actual planet versus something that was <laughs> man-made. Um, and this also has gravity. I don't think the... Did the was the Death Star... I don't know if in canon if the Death Star was big enough to generate its own gravity. Although, they probably had sci-fi gravity generators, come to think of it, so... Who knows? But, I mean, it was really big. I mean, Gilly is only, like, I think 24 kilometers, and that, you can orbit that, so... You could probably orbit the Death Star. Um, yeah, who knows? Anyways, let's, um, let's get back to our... Anyways, let's, um... Oh, there we go, just got the achievement. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and floor it in this direction. Just floor it. Just gonna floor it all the way back to the mothership. We're only back to the mothership, so that way we can then land on Titan. Yep. Titan is the final moon. There we go. And there we go. We got our we got we got we got a nice rendezvous um thing. Although I don't know how nice of a rendezvous that is. Um, could we like adjust that maybe? There we go. <laughs> By doing a bit of radial in burning. So that way we encounter it like at the um I want to encounter our vessel at Ap Ap Apple Apoapsis. Yeah, encounter it at Apoapsis. I Me, mean, who's been to the Titan with Starship? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cheating, cause that's a mod. Although I have, uh, although I do have heat cheat. You know, I might disable heat cheat just for this uh, Titan um, landing, just to make it kind of more realistic. Cause, yeah. Otherwise, the Titan landing is just gonna be too easy if we don't. If we do, if there's, there's no challenge if there's no heat. You know, so. Yeah, I mean, I I like having the heat sheet for the for the outer for you know the outer planets and stuff, because I mean, returning to Earth, like I should be able to return to Earth with a heat shield, right? I have a heat shield. I should be able to return from any height. At least that's what KSB has led me to believe. So, yeah. Both a mod and vanilla. Okay. Neato. No. No. Okay. Get ready to initiate our slowdown relative to our target slowdown. We burn up the mothership into Saturn's atmosphere before going home. Yes, that sounds like a plan. Either Saturn's atmosphere or Titan's atmosphere. Uh, Titan's atmosphere will probably be easier, but we, we, can, we can try Saturn's atmosphere. Um, it's going to be too hard. Can I see it yet? How come I still can't see this ship is annoying? There we go. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. I see it. I found it. We found it. Finally. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come There we go. <laughs> Got it. Okay, let's go ahead and transfer the rest of this fuel into here. Now that these don't need it anymore, we can use it all in our Frontier engines. And all that Hunter and the Calibri lander that we didn't even need to use. Uh, and then, yeah. I mean, yeah, once we do all this, we'll pump the rest of the fuel into here for the rear ballast, for the Titan lander. Um, and yeah, let's, let's do Titan. Here we go. So, yeah, navigate to. Okay. I don't mind doing that burn. That seems fair enough. Well, there we go. We actually got a Titan encounter there. But we'll go for the... Oh. Okay, we'll just... We'll go for that. That's fine. Okay, that's... That's a bit odd. Why does our escape happen here? Shouldn't the escape be later? You know what? I don't know. At this point, I don't know. At this point, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually, you know, you said you wanted me to crash the rest of the ship into Saturn, right? Um, can Titan help us with that? If you're anything like a good friend of mine, um, then you should be able to generate enough gravity to... Oh, they're both escapes. I just realized. Oh, <laughs> that's really weird. Okay, we're, we're, we're in its sphere of influence now. Okay, 
Well, whatever. I tried. Oh shoot, I just I didn't realize I didn't realize these were running. Whoops. That's fine. I need a bit more. I need more liquid fuel in the booster stage. I don't want to give it all up, though. I need some for my rocket. Okay, we're just gonna crash the this stage into Titan. Right, quick save, heat save. So we're going to go ahead and disable the heat cheat just for this moment. We're gonna go ahead and transfer all the fuel that we have into the rocket. So that way, all the fuel that we have, all the fuel in here as well. Ooh. So yeah, all the fuel that was in here is now in here. We're going to go ahead and warp down to right before we hit. Oh, never mind. We're going this way. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, Titan. Okay, heat shield first. We're not going that fast, actually, so we could be fine. We're only going like 500 meters per second. That's very, that's pretty slow. Usually on entry for to like um, Earth, you're going, we're going way faster. There we go. Okay. So this will be the true test to see if this thing works. But yeah, I don't even think we needed a heat shield, to be honest. <laughs> um... Oh, no, never mind. We're getting some heat. We're getting a little toasty. There's a couple flames showing up. Oh, and there we go. There goes the mothership blowing up. So not into Saturn, because that would have been a little bit too tricky. We didn't really have the Delta V for that. Well, I mean, we could have used a Titan Gravity Assist, like I said. But, I don't know. It's being very glitchy. And yeah, I'm just ready to get this kind of mission. I'm just ready to kind of get this mission wrapped up with. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> uh, it's pretty late. Um, so yeah, that's fine. We got a couple explosions. Kaboom, skis. Flames. It's not flames. It's plas. Oh yeah, plasma. It's pl it's it's very hot. Plasma. Right. But yeah, look at that. We didn't even didn't even have to worry about the the heating. Look at that. Didn't even have to worry about it. It was fine. The heating was not an issue. Oh, except for that landing leg that really wants to burn for some reason. Okay, lower atmosphere. Okay, 2,500. Okay, go! Go! Go, 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 good. Drop that. Beautiful. Legs. Beautiful. Beautiful landing site. What a gorgeous landing site.
There we go. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, please don't tip over. Okay, we're fine. Oh, there we go. Nice. Check that out. Bam. Oh look, it's not glitching out. There we go, look, I can see Saturn. The glitch has stopped. Very cool. Anyway. Okay. It's time to go. Engine arm on. So I'm going to do a gravity turn nice and gradual like. Although we... Although we, although we now know that Titan's atmosphere isn't actually that bad. It's relatively tame. But still, I want to be wanna be cautious with <laughs> Yes, I want to be cautious with it. Okay. Okay. I, why was I worried about Titan? <laughs> uh, it's a cool place, but yeah. This atmosphere is literally nothing. I guess I'm just so used to Venus Returns and how thick and soupy Venus's atmosphere is. I guess I'm just not used to, um... But yeah, no, that's good. We got, we got plenty of Delta V. We got plenty of Delta V for the rest of this mission. To get back home and stuff. So yeah, no, I'm happy. Let's keep the throttle very low so that we don't lose too much speed to air resistance. I like it. And... Hey guys, look, I made an SSTO. Okay, back home we go. So, straight up. Um, well, first we gotta leave Titan. Goodbye, Titan. See you later. And then... We'll time warp here. And we'll head back to Earth. Okay, here we go. Yep, so this is where we want to go. Okay, see you later, Saturn. It was fun hanging around, but we gotta go. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, well, there we go. Back to Earth. Like that. Now, I will re-enable Heat Cheat for this. Because... Yeah. Earth. Earth's atmosphere is no joke. Okay. There we go. And also, we'll be coming in very fast. Yeah, this is going to be a very quick and very spicy re-entry. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, we'll fine-tune it when we get a little closer. <laughs> it's kind of hard to fine-tune stuff when we're all the way out here at Saturn. So we'll go ahead and warp on down. How to get Saturn pack? It should be in the description. Um, if not, I will add it as soon as I'm done streaming. Um, but it should be in the description. How to get the um, the pack? 
And, oh, we're out of fuel. Uh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and pump some fuel into here. Because I don't want to leave space junk. That would be good to not leave any. It would be good to keep space, um, you know, keep space junk to a minimum. Don't like leaving space junk. Sometimes you have to, but prefer not to. Okay, here we go. This is going to be quick. This is going to be very spicy. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, here we go. I wish that thing exploded. I really wish that thing exploded. But no, it's just gonna go bazoom. Okay. Wow. Look at the look at the temperature. <laughs> Eleven thousand degrees C. That is hot. That is very hot. Not as hot as from when I came back from Pluto. That was a very spicy reentry, but um this is still pretty toasty. It's decently toasty. And then it's always fun in games to deploy the parachute at the last possible second. Um, Alex, I'm not Alex. I'm not going to um, to unhold that message. Um. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. So, right about 300 is, like, the limit. So, here we go. Here we go. Go 300. Ah, we're coming in for a nice splashdown. Oh, we, we could have we had it a bit later as well. Probably 200 would have been fine. Ah, well... Here we go for a sploosh down. The astronauts must have been exposed to intense... Yeah, this is probably not survivable. Oh, and we're sinking. <laughs> um, the capsule apparently... Oh gosh, the capsule is apparently too heavy. It's apparently too heavy, and it's sinking. Uh, is it going to stop sinking at some point? Are we going to stop sinking? Or are we going to the center of Earth? We did a mission to Saturn, now the mission is the center of the Earth. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. We are now at the bottom of the ocean. Um, amazing. There we go. All the moons should be here. I'll put you guys pause and make sure all the moons are here. There we go. So yeah. I'm, I'm, that was, that was a crazy mission. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this stream, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for new videos, have a great day, get rest of your day, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!